the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the Labour Party crisis has taken a new twist as a state chapter suspended Aburi. Moving on, we have ahead of the commencement of the continuous voters registration in Edo State, the APC, PDP, and INEC trade words over the incoming continuous voters registration in Edo State. But guys, before we commence fully, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back updates and information as it hurts. In case it's the first time of joining this wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, and also the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. To all our busy subscribers, thank you so much for joining us on today's news. To all our viewers, thank you so much for joining us. So guys, let's proceed with the news. The national chairman of the Labour Party, Barrister Julius Abre, has been suspended by the party executive in War 3, Eru Urome, in Eastern North, East local government area of Edo State, for alleged high-handedness and anti-party activities. This decision was ratified by the State Executive Committee of the party after the ward wrote a formal letter to the secretary. Abre's suspension was a secret to a meeting of members of the ward we are allegation of his high-handedness and anti-party activities in the administration of the party and other acts of financial misappropriation were exhaustively discussed. The word executive in the letter of his suspension addressed to Abure noted that allegations of fraud leveled against him, which are currently under investigation, and a letter of suspension dated May 14, 2024, and another letter of ratification dated May 15, 2024, both of which were ratified. At a meeting of the State Executive Committee on Friday, May 24, 2024, night in Benin, and the letter quit read by that the suspension is with immediate effect. So they advise Abure to restrain from holding out or parading himself a member of Labour Party, War 3, Eru Rome in East and North East Local Government Edo State. The letter of the suspension was signed by the War Chairman Topsin Ehigose and War Secretary Stanley Isiomo. The letter of ratification of his suspension was forwarded to the State Executive Committee of the party through the State Chairman by the local government chairman of the party. In East and North East, Patrick Onogbeni and local government secretary Eikoye Erumosele. The local government executive met on 15 May 2024 about noon to consider the matter presented on the suspension and accordingly found them worthy and the suspension ratified and upheld. So, the State Executive Committee endorsed the decision of the Ward and Local Government Committee of the party at a well-attended meeting in Benin late on Friday. So it was gathered that the venue of the meeting was charged as leaders and members of the party chanted, Abure must go. The State Executive Committee considered the letter together with the issue contained therein and they ratified Abure's suspension. So with the ratification of his suspension, the basis of his chairmanship of the party at the national level has been vitiated and by implication he has been suspended as the party's national chairman so in response to that julius aburi while speaking through the party national publicity secretary obio Raifo, said that the action of a do state chapter was an exercise in futility because they lacked basis in law as enshrined in the labor party constitution c4 said that the 2019 labor party constitution Article 17, subsection 1, is clear that only the national convention conveyed solely for the purpose of removal of the national chairman, with a two-third majority can suspend or remove the chairman, that the ward, local government, or even the state has no power to suspend the national chairman. <laughs> so an Edo High Court has also ruled on this matter. An appeal court has also ruled on this matter. So this dimension is a continuation of the attack on the presence of Aburi witnessed during the governorship primaries. So it will also amount to nothing and they will not perturbed. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts. Your contributions to the in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Moving on to the next one. Ahead of the commencement of continuous voters registration in Edo State, the All Progressive Congress in the state has called for immediate redeployment of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, ahead of ICT NIDO, alleging that plans are underway to compromise the process. In favor of the People Democratic Party, Prince Peter Wadia, the, the state APC Publicity Secretary, made the allegation through a press statement made available to journalists in Benin. Peter alleged that the party got it from a grapevine that the People Democratic Party 
In conveniences with some officials of INEC in the state are planning to ring the incoming exercise in favor of the PDP. <laughs> he alleged that they have owned good authorities and from multiple sources that some gullible officials of INEC in most of the 18 local government areas that make up their state have approached the outgoing Edo state government to provide them with logistics for the continuous voters' registration. <laughs> in anticipation, they said that this Unpatriotic INEC officials have promised to allow the PDP unfiltered access to INEC data capturing machine. And it has also been consonance with the all embracing expectation that all political actors, including political parties, are seamlessly expected to operate in an atmosphere devoid of compromise, inducement, and other unfavorable antis that may cause an attack on the reverent integrity of the system. Mm -hmm. So according to Peter, he said APC is demanding for strict compliance with the INEC designated venue for the continuous voter registration access, which they claim is the world headquarters. That complete restriction of transfer of voters from neighboring states during the continuous voter registration exercise, they have to reject the use of Obaseki uniform talks, such as the Pubo, HTMR, state security network, as security across the state, that the Nigeria police. The civil service corp and other parliamentaries are better for this critical exercise. Meanwhile, the Commissioner for Information and Communication in the state, Honorable Chris Nikari, while reacting to the allegation of the APC on behalf of the PDP and the two states government, denied the allegation in its entirety. And he described the opposition party in the two state as a gathering of confused people who, according to him, has nothing to offer. He said that the allegation they made against the INEC is like that of a man who is not prepared to write an exam that has been fixed for a certain date. So they are embarrassed that this is the quality of opposition the APC is offering in the state. So they want to say as a government, they are interested in their people coming out to register during the continuous voters registration exercise. That is what the government do. Also, the political party encouraged the people to come out to register because it is the vote of the people that decide who governs them. Edo state government has nothing to do with the manipulation of the continuous voters' registration. That is what Chris Nikari is saying. And when I graciously decided to resume registration of voters, they were excited. And as a government, they encouraged their people to come out because they believe that it, it is when more people register then the government can be held accountable. Chris Nekari said that, but in this case, APC as a party are disgruntled. First, they have nominated a candidate who cannot express himself and they cannot sell to Edo people. That they are worried about that. And instead of admitting to their failure, they are busy making allegations to an unbiased umpire, which is INEC. That they are not saying that INEC is totally unbiased, but they have a duty to register voters and they will give them whatever support they need. Also, reacting on behalf of the INEC, the Resident Electoral Commissioner in Edo State, the state INEC Head of Voters Education and Publicity, Mr. Timidi, described the allegation against the commission as an outdated anti, saying that the APC should have brought up this allegation during a recent stakeholders meeting organized by the commission. He said that they did stakeholders meeting on May 16. The political parties, including PDP and APC, were really. there. The idea behind the meeting is for INEC to tell the party and the public what they want to do, including modality involved. In the meeting, if there was any issue, it was for them to bring it up, including the allegation the APC is bringing up now, that it would have been treated. Apart from that stakeholders meeting, they have also had a meeting at the local government level because of the continued voters' registration. So all the parties were there and nobody raised any issue. Now a party is coming out to say things. So their doors are open because it is not good to antagonize the commission when they have not done anything wrong. So it's unfair and the action they have taken is old fashioned. This is not the way to go about things that if any of them has anything to say, they should have come to the recent electoral commission. It is wrong to dish out those allegations as they do not have anything to do with them because <laughs> right now they are focused on what is at hand. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts. Your contributions opinions are in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. We really do appreciate it.